There's been a lot of talk surrounding Project 2025 this election season. Yeah, the plan is a controversial set of proposals for the next Republican presidency written up by the Heritage Foundation. Now, one group fears how black voters could be affected if Project 2025 is implemented. And joining us now is Color of Change President Rashad Robinson. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about this. Former President Trump has disavowed and really distanced himself from Project 2025. So why does it even matter? Well, so much about policy is personnel. And so both uh, Project 2025 and Donald Trump have been very clear that part of their agenda um, both on both platforms is that they will um, dismantle the sort of career service infrastructure of the federal government, the people who work regardless of whether there's a Democrat or a Republican. And Project 2025 and Donald Trump both want to replace them with political appointees. So where do the political appointees come from under a Donald Trump administration? They come from the Heritage Foundation. They come from the Federalist Society. They come from the very people that have written this plan and have put it in place. Donald Trump, as president president will be one person, but he will be staffed by a range of people who have made this their mission. And we know from the last time when Donald Trump said some things that he wouldn't do and then went about doing them, that what we actually have to believe is the intention behind it. This project is funded and supported by all the very people that are fighting to put Donald Trump in office. And if he is elected, Project 2025 will be the operating framework. And so I tell our folks at Color of Change, I tell our folks um, that we work with, I tell black Americans that our Project 2024 needs to be voting. And in terms of Project 2025, what are the key provisions that Color of Change is most concerned about? Well, a couple of things. One, across education, health, justice, they're going to dismantle the very infrastructure that enforces um, anti-discrimination, our rules. And so whether it's the Department of Education, the Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of Justice, um, dismantling the tracking of racial data, dismantling and taking away um, sort of the enforcement mechanism. So it's like having speed limits, but no one to actually enforce those speed limits. Um, getting rid of school lunches, getting rid of student debt relief, getting rid of all of the, the tools that have been put in place to be able to advance more equity. A lot has been done and a lot of programs have been put in place to close the gaps on, on home ownership, to make sure that um, uh, people have access to loans and resources to start businesses, women, people of color, and that will be Mantle. So just think about it. A billionaire president um, would pre presiding over an administration that makes it hard for the little guy to be able even to start a small business, to be able to get a student loan, to get more education. Turning this country back, um, backwards and turning us all backwards and taking away sort of the very things that make America great, this idea that we can actually achieve more, have more opportunity than the generation before us. You said voting was really important. Yes. How are you going to make sure those people show up to vote? Well, we are going to educate. The research tells us in so many ways that people need to hear from folks in their networks. Trusted networks are so key. And so one thing that we have been pioneering for years at Color of Change and with so many of our partners is really working with volunteers tens of thousands of volunteers around the country that through tech platforms, we give them the tools to be able to reach out through phones, through doors, through um, text messaging, and we're able to contact irregular voters, voters that don't show up in every election. Um, one example is in Michigan alone, according to the Secretary of State in Michigan, um, there are over a million young people that did not vote in the last election who were eligible to vote. So mm -hmm. if we can just contact those folks and get percentages of those folks to turn out and vote, the ability ability to not just swing an election, but to make sure the election is swung by people who then now have more power to make the demands on the things that they care about. Uh, elections are not about giving politicians jobs. They are about helping to make everyday people's lives better. So we always pair our work around elections with the conversations about what do you do after the election? What does the accountability look like? And how do we want to have a conversation about making uh, the systems and the structures that should serve all of us actually serve all of us? It's going to be a big year, that's for sure. Rashad Johnson, thank you. So, Rashad Robinson, thank you so much for being here. President of the Color of Change, uh, we appreciate you. Thanks for having me.